Hey guys, Tyler with Xtool USA here. Today we are sitting in a 2013 Toyota Corolla. I have with me one of our nitrous keys from our key kit. It's a TY08 from our nitrous key kit. And then I have also have the original working key for the vehicle. We're gonna be adding this new nitrous key to the vehicle using the Nitro GT. And we're also gonna be programming the remote. So uh, this vehicle, the remote programming process is actually gonna be on board. So I'm going to show you that first. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to have the driver's door open. We're going to take our, our either of our keys, doesn't matter which one, whether it's programmed or not. You're going to stick it in and out of the ignition slot twice, and then close and open the door twice. And then we're going to stick the key in and out of the ignition one time, and close and open the door twice again. And then we're going to stick our key in. We're going to close the door. And then we're going to switch the ignition on, off, and then take it out. And the door locks will cycle. I don't know if you heard that, but they did. And then we're going to press and hold the lock and unlock button on our new key remote together for one second. And then we're going to press the lock button once. And then we're going to go ahead and switch the ignition on and off to close out programming mode, and then we're gonna check our new remote. So lock and unlock are working. We went ahead and deactivated the alarm with the new key, and we'll go ahead and check our old key. Old remote still working, so that's the onboard process. So we went ahead and got the alarm off by cranking the vehicle with the working key. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the key programming process now. So we're gonna go ahead and start by plugging our VCI into the OBD port of the vehicle. VCI is powered on. We're gonna come over to our tablet. We're gonna power it on. We're gonna go special functions, immobilization, hit agree. We're gonna look for US Toyota or Toyota USA, which is here at the top. All right, and we're gonna go to key by vehicle we're gonna go to Corolla non-proximity and then 2010 to 2013 again this vehicle is a 2013 uh, so it's failed to connect the reason why is because I don't have the ignition on so I'm gonna go ahead and take the original working key switch the ignition on hit 10 to 13 and now we're in the system so now I'm just gonna go to add a key it says one master key is needed to erase or add other keys. How do I identify a master or valet key? Insert key in ignition. If light, the security light did not flash, it is master key. But if the security light flashes for one second and turns off, it's a valet key. So what it means by that is right here is that security light. If we take our original key and we put it in the ignition, if as soon as I put it in the ignition, it out, that means it's master key. If it were to go on solid for one second and then go out, we know it's a valet key. But this one for sure is a master key. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch the ignition back on with that key. We're gonna hit yes. It says insert program master key and switch ignition on. We've done that, so I'm gonna hit yes. It says insert you key you wish to program. Do not switch ignition to on position. So that means we're gonna stick the key in the ignition, the, the new nitrous key and we're gonna leave it in the off position. Do not, do not switch it on, hit yes. This is wait for security light to turn off, programming is complete. So this security light is gonna blink for approximately six, 60 seconds. After 60 seconds, it's gonna stop blinking. Once it stops blinking, then our key is programmed. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave the uh, camera on the security light. As soon as it stops blinking, we know the key's been programmed. All right, so the security light stopped pr uh, blinking. We're gonna go ahead and come over to our tablet and hit okay. And now we're going to unplug our VCI. I'm gonna take the key in out of the ignition, put it back in and try to crank the vehicle. And then the car starts right up without any issues and continues running. So our key is programmed and our, our remote is also programmed. So we're good to go. Thanks guys.